All right, tonight we're going to talk about marketing and five creative ideals and low cost, low cost options for marketing your microgreens. Uh, if you can grow the best microgreens in the world, if nobody knows about them, you're in trouble. Nobody's going to buy them. So uh, let's help you out a little bit there. Obviously, first thing you can get into is your social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, LinkedIn, Nextdoor, Reddit, Pinterest. In today's world, there's so many ways to find and connect to your target audience. So many social media, so many things online, probably even some stuff out here. But you can go into many, many avenues uh, to promote your business that are free. Uh, some ways to maximize your media include creating polls to get Facebook from your customers, creating polls to get feedback from your customers. Uh, so that's a good way to find out what your customers are wanting, what they like. Uh, it's a great thing to do, uh, and they get interaction with that. So posting short form content to educate, educate your potential customers, articles, experts, short facts, sheets, fact sheets, informational graphics are great. Make sure you cite your sources. If you do that stuff, if you're getting any of the uh, nutrients informations or anything like that out or anything that you got studies on, make sure you cite that on there. You want to tag similar or local businesses in your posts to collaborate with other business owners. Uh, best way to build business in your local community is actually getting connected to other business owners in your community. Uh, everybody wants to help support everybody small business wise, typically in your community. So you definitely want to look into that. Post giveaways and promotions. We've done giveaways before. We gave samplers away. Uh, get people interactive on there. Spin a little wheel. Do all that stuff. So definitely want to do some giveaways on there. Uh, they don't cost you much. So uh, point your social media point your social media posts to your website to convert your audience into customers. It's key. Don't just put out information out there. Social media stuff. You want to point them to your website to get sales. You're trying to funnel them down. Click funnels. So make sure you have all that on your information as well. Using hashtags. Hashtags are big now. So hashtag microgreens, hashtag uh, broccoli microgreens, whatever. Get your hashtags in there. Find out what works good for you. It's been an entire day of important hashtags, but they're extremely important. So we can go into a long, long video on hashtags, but make sure you're using hashtags. And don't forget to like, follow, and engage with other local business posts. They have a large or small audience than you, but they can be great ways of exposure to your potential customers. Uh, so the more interaction you have on somebody else's posts, the more you're going to have interaction from their customers, their guests to come over to your posts. So make sure you're checking into that. All right. Google My Business. This is somewhat false, but see social media and SOE search engine. Um, but you want to get on Google for sure, because this is where people are going to find you. Uh, Google My Business is a way for people to find your business online when they're looking for local products. Like when somebody types in microgreens near me, Google uses a location and pulls up that information for microgreens in that area. So if they type in microgreens Springfield, they're going to pull us up because we're going to be up there. So you want to make sure that you've got yourself in that Google search. And if they are near you, you definitely want to make sure you're on this list because Google also search engine. It's a search engine is what Google is. Having a profile with them also helps your SEO, your search engine optimizing. Number one, create a Google business profile and verify your account. Uh, to do this, they usually send you a postcard in the mail or something, and then you got to verify that you got it. Then you verify your business. Make sure you update your hours, location, etc. on a regular basis. Um, I know we're micro and growing, we're going to places, so you don't have to have that many hours, but have some kind of hours on there. Add photos to this, add videos. Uh, people are going to search that. Get reviews. Ask your friends and family that have bought from you or have ate your microgreens. To give you reviews that's the best way to go up and get reviews right away and respond to them anybody that does give you reviews make sure you comment back respond to them be interactive with your customers people that get your products uh, note why you currently use google my business app to do all of this on your phone this app is also going to be discontinued 
and will be business management and will be all done through Google Maps and search apps. So it's changed a little bit. If you've done it all on your phone, now it's going to be in the Google Map, the search app. So make sure you check that out. If you've used it before, if you're not, know that it's going to that. Uh, so, yeah, finding more direct and local approach, find some other local businesses organizations as well, like the Chamber of Commerce, local small business association chapters, business conversations, or any possible nonprofit organization that helps small business connect to the community. These places usually are very helpful and want to help small businesses get out there. Like we have a downtown uh, Springfield Inc. thing that they do a lot with any downtown businesses. So they want to get businesses out there. They're great with the farmer's market. They want to promote their farmer market people. So use them to help promote your business. Whether you capture leads through your website, online offers, or with sign-up sheets at the farmer's market, a newsletter is a great way to keep in touch with your customers. Announce events, special offers to subscribe to, uh, to get your subscribe to. Um, if you get a new product to come out, you can let them know, hey, we got this new product. Uh, have you checked out our delivery on this? Have you seen that we're in the stores? Whatever. Hey, do you go to this restaurant? Tag them in that. Make sure they know. You know, stuff like that. Just uh, any and everything just to keep them in the know. Uh, some people might not bought from you for a while, so if you get that newsletter going out there, it's going to be a big help to get retention of customers. Never underestimate the power of a happy customer. You definitely want happy customers. If you watch our How to Keep Your Customer video, which we did last week, You'll know we went through over a few things to find a way to really help out, help not get customers' retention, but only also build relationships with your customers. You want to get a good relationship with your customers. Loyal customers are almost always happy to share with their friends, their family, any and everybody. Talk about it on social media. Post pictures on Facebook that they got this. They made this with it. They use this ingredient for Mitty Bitty Micro Farm or wherever they're getting it from locally. And then they generating advertisement for you. Uh, so definitely keep happy customers are willing to share your products at that point. So you definitely want to make sure you have happy customers only to rebuy also to post stuff for you. So these are some of the few basics overview in many ways you can market your microgreens. As always depends on where you're envisioning your business being with your certain target market. So make sure you target research. You want to do that. These marketing tools can be great and low cost and build your brand. In our business coaching program, we'll talk a little bit about that now, but our business coaching program, we go in detail over these and these marketing videos are going to be released here in the next week or two. Hopefully a couple of them will be up this week. We'll have marketing videos out there and go in depth in this. If you're not part of our marketing or coaching program, make sure you check that out. And we also will be giving that away again here at the end of the tonight after the Q&A session. We'll be giving that out. So 